Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Rondi. She's back with another video. Another one. I always say that. But I'm back. With another one. Girl Rondi again with another video. Um, so as you guys can tell today by the title, I am going to be doing a pregnancy update. My last couple of videos, y'all, I'm acting like I don't know what was going on, but it just seemed like I was having a smooth pregnancy. But I got some tea, y'all. I gotta tell y'all what's really going on. I keep looking at my phone because I forgot to open my app, so I know exactly how many weeks I am. I know I'm about seven months. I know that. But, you know, technical, to get technical, you know, we break it down by weeks. So, according to my app, it says I'm 29 weeks. The baby is the size of a, hold on a second. The baby is the size of an acorn squash, if you guys know what that is. Um, and then, the baby is about 2.5 pounds and is about 15.2 inches. Now this is estimated based on what my app is saying. Um, and the app, if you guys don't know, I use the Bump app and it kind of just tracks your pregnancy week by week and it tells you like little updates of like what the baby may look like and what developments the baby has made over the course of time, over the course of the amount of weeks that you are currently pregnant. Um, so yeah I'm out of breath but um, I'm going to read this a little bit kind of like summarize what the app is saying and then I'll kind of go into like my own personal like what I'm what's what's changed and what's different with me and the baby um, so it's saying you may feel like subtle twitches which I do feel which they're saying that it could be the baby could be hiccuping um, then it says you're gonna feel the baby move a lot more kicks and jabs also with the hiccups um, you may have um, heartburn pelvic pain frequent urination urination um, are also common during the stage of 29 weeks um, and they're just suggesting like it's good to start finalizing everything for your baby your um, nursery and stuff like that that's pretty much it um, I think that's it. it is, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I have my list in my notes of what mommy is experiencing. So, I don't know if I po I'm going to post my um, gender reveal video before or after this video, but um, you guys, it's a boy. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it, I'm going to do the gender reveal first and then I'm going to do this video. So, um, we did announced that it's a boy and we announced the name of the baby early on i don't really care like some people wait to the last second to really reveal, reveal their baby's name if you're gonna take my baby's name you're gonna take my baby's name whether you know before the baby is born or the baby is born after the baby is born i don't know why some people do that i don't care that much but anyways so um with me being 29 weeks seven months pregnant um i am experiencing a lot of back pain and pressure in my back I experience it the most at night like laying on either side they say it's better to lay, lay on your left side because it allows um, better blood blood flow like and oxygen and stuff like that but it's not always comfortable I can lay on my left side for a certain period of time then I'm gonna flip to my right side and then sometimes I can lay on my back like just on my back but None of it works. And then they say sleep with a pillow between your legs because it helps elevate. Sleep with a your pillow between your legs because it helps elevate and like level everything out. That doesn't work. Sorry. Doesn't work for me. Sometimes I have to just lay as flat as possible without like pillows or anything like that. Though I can't lay on my stomach, I'll try to lay on my side just flat. Sometimes I sleep at the top of the bed, the head of the bed. Sometimes I sleep at the foot of the bed. It just depends on how I'm feeling. And it's just, it's the worst. And when I fall asleep, I'm so happy I finally fall asleep because it's just... 
and I have a lot of anxiety but anxiety goes with the amount of emotions that you have when you're pregnant I'm being extreme emotional and it's not always just me crying it's just my tolerance level of like my patience and like my the magnitude it takes to make me mad or frustrated is very limited like I'm quick to get upset and it's caused arguments in me and our me and Giselle's relationship because it's just y'all it's been terrible it, I mean it's not been terrible but we've had one terrible instance and it was just like then I look back like Ronnie why did you really do all of that like was all that necessary but at the time it was like that's how I was feeling that's how my emotions was flowing and that's just what it was but anyways um then I have the emotional mood swings one minute I'm like okay next minute I'm like depressed next minute I'm sad next minute I'm happy next minute my spirits are lifted I'm just going through a lot of emotions and anxiety also with life like what's going on in my personal life is just a lot another thing is pelvic pain now i did not experience this with an Isla. when i mean pelvic pain it's like that area like right below your stomach like you if you're a girl you know what i'm saying like the v part like it hurts so bad when i'm laying down at night and i have to get up and when i googled it they were like oh it'll relieve some of the pressure if you push your place your legs together and then you slide to get out of the bed like it's the worst pain it's not I'm gonna sit here away because I can take pain, but it's just like it's annoying. Like it makes you not want to move because you know that you're expecting to feel that pain when you get up. Like it's from the bed, it's from getting off the couch, getting out of the car. It's just like they say it's the pressure from the baby and that your stomach muscles are like extracting and stuff like that. Laziness and fatigue. I was with Anala, I was lazy, but I was like not super super lazy i don't know i just feel like i have more energy than nyla with this pregnancy i don't feel like doing anything and i feel bad because there's sometimes i'll just sit in the house all day and not do anything and i'll just like i feel bad because nyla still has toys to play with but it's just like i don't take her outside sometimes because it's too hot and it's just like it just seems like everything is just too much i'm just tired i just want to lay in the bed and watch youtube all day and pretty much eat and it's not like I'm just eating like junk food all day, but it's just like I don't feel like doing anything. I don't have any energy. I don't have no like my determination is just not there. And I don't know why, but it's just how it is. I'm almost like, oh, take your prenatal in because it has B12 in it. I was taking my prenatals. It didn't help as much as I thought it was, but we progress. We diverse. And then I have dark stretch marks. I'm going to show you what I mean they're like appearing on certain parts of my body like I've had a little bit of stress marks from my last pregnancy but they like faded but this pregnancy it's like they just came out of nowhere one day I was just getting in the shower and I was just looking like where these come from and they're not like stripes it's like dots and it's ugly because when I next year when I'm in the summertime and I'm wearing my bikinis and stuff that's ugly so I need to find a way to either fade them or something I gotta find some type of oil and then I was googling like like prenatal oils and stuff like that a lot of them was just like the same ingredients like coconut oil and avocado oil i can go get that from the store rather than paying for the product anyways that's probably what i'm gonna do um cravings you guys do know that i am a gestational my pregnancy is considered gestational diabetes which is considered high risk pregnancy um gestational diabetes if i haven't explained this before is pretty much you have a case of diabetes during your pregnancy that disappears after you deliver your child um, and there's certain risks that pretty much go with it um, your baby can be larger and you can potentially have diabetes after your pregnancy blah 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 I had it with Nyla I have it with this baby I didn't have diabetes now it runs in my family but you know I'll take the necessary steps and measures to endure to make sure that I don't actually get just I mean diabetes or whatever Anyways, with that being said, when you're a gestational diabetic, that means you're not supposed to be eating sweets. You're supposed to limit how much food you're eating and your intake of what certain things like stay away from juice, drink milk, like stay basically drink nothing but water, and the kind of stuff like the snacks and stuff they want you to eat, like boiled eggs and peanuts and stuff like that, avocado. I don't like stuff like that. I don't like tuna. Boiled eggs is not one of those things. I'm like, oh, I want a snack. I'm gonna boil me an egg. That's just 
not my appetite when i think of a snack i can do a granola bar i can do some trail mix i can do stuff like that but boiled eggs and like peanuts and stuff i don't like peanuts it's just a lot and it stresses me out but anyways with that being said i do crave sweets which is terrible because i am gestational i'm not gonna sit here and say that you tell you guys that i don't eat sweets like i eat them in moderation but i'm gonna eat me a bowl of cereal i'm gonna eat a half of a, a cookie or something like that i'll try to limit how much sometimes i go overboard by eating two bowls of cereal but it's just like i'm pregnant and with my last pregnancy, they were like, oh, prick your finger, do this, keep account of the things that you're eating so that we know what's making your your sugar fluctuate above this amount of number, stuff like that. And then at the end of the day, when I had my child, my baby was healthy. She was fine. She had no health problems. Still to this day, she has no health problems. So, and then they, like, they say, oh, if you can't moderate your sugar, they're going to put you on a medication and stuff like that. I just feel like... <sighs> It's all about money. And I'm not sitting here saying, yeah, don't take it serious. But I'm not about to stress myself about it, out about it. I'm going to make sure that I'm eating a full course meal. There's other chef. So the other day he made like squash and carrot, like linguine with shrimp. The noodles was made out of shrimp and made out of carrots and um, squash. And he tossed it in like a wine, like buttery wine sauce. Super healthy. That was really good. So it's like, I and then I have my days where I want a bowl of cereal. Like, you know, and I have my days where I want to drink a glass of juice. And I have my days where I drink water. Like, it's just, I'm not stressing myself about it. Because I'm already stressed about other stuff. Anyways, but I make sure, like, even when I go to the doctor, the doctor talks, oh, the baby's fine. The way that, how much you're weighing, you're, you know, I'm actually pretty small to be seven months. But... That's better than being big because that's the risk of a gestational pregnancy. Anyways, so my attitude, I already talked about that, and dreams. I can't really speak too much because I can't remember all my dreams, but I know last night I had a dream. I had three kids, three boys, three boys, and I vividly remember, like, what they look like and stuff like that. Like, I was telling Giselle about it earlier, but anyways, I can say you do have vivid dreams. I guess I can't remember all my dreams, but I just know that there's days I woke up and was like, wow, like, <laughs> like, it seems so real. And anyways, so last, last but not least, least um, is leg cramps. Um, they say you get um, Charlie horses when you don't drink enough water and stuff like that. I've had more of them when I was with pregnant with Nala than I did with this pregnancy but I've had like two or three over the course of time and they're nothing to play with you could be sleeping and you'll just decide that you know everybody has that morning stretch you're stretching your arms you stretch your legs but when you stretch your legs and you get a Charlie horse and it's just like a sensation that runs down your leg and it's just like a cramp and it's like a cramp that you know that you have to stretch it out to get it to go away but you're enduring that pain and it's just I'm pretty good with pain so it's just like I just breathe in and just stretch it out and I'm just like until it goes away and then like my calf muscles will be tight after that for like the day but they just say you have to drink more water to prevent stuff like that but it also has something to do with the blood flow because you're pregnant and you have a lot more blood flowing through your body when you're pregnant so that's pretty much it that's everything I'm experiencing now at 29 weeks and seven months almost eight months pregnant um yeah if you guys are interested if you guys have any questions anything like that I'm going to definitely keep documenting this pregnancy I'm gonna try well the baby shower is coming up so I've already sent out my invites for my baby shower so we'll have that video coming very soon within the next couple of weeks also and i will try to film some videos with preparation for the baby shower because i have little projects i need to start working on so that i won't be doing everything at the last second um so you have that coming and then other videos here and there i'll probably do like baby essentials haul videos as far as like things that we bought for the baby and of course the delivery labor and delivery and stuff like that so stay tuned for that also in between there I'll have some vlogs and stuff like that anything that I can come up with I'm gonna to continue to like try to stay on top of it I have some pre-film um, videos that I need to also put out I just took a break from YouTube for like 
almost a month because I was dealing with what life was hitting, was coming at, what life was throwing at me. But I gotta keep pushing, keep going, staying encouraged, and build back up my consistency so you guys can enjoy my content. I don't have the best quality, the best camera, I don't have all that, but I'm going to keep pushing because I'm going to get there one day. So if you guys are interested, like I said, if you have any questions or if you guys are interested in anything, definitely comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Belissima underscore me. Um, also my Bella, my um, business page that I'm working on, my um, event planning page is called, it's um, Bella underscore chic um, and I do pretty much inspo for inspiration as far as event planning in addition to any events that I do or anything that I've done. Um, so yeah, you guys take advantage of that and your girl, I'm here. You guys have a blessed day, blessed evening, blessed morning, whatever time it is.